Okay, guys. This is gonna be interesting one. We're replacing. Uh, we're gonna replace uh, evaporator uh, drain pan right there. Custom piece. It just has a pause on it. Leaks inside the vacuum cooler. So they have all this water on the bottom. This is our pan. to shut the power off to the cooler so let's go see So we know our pump works still. It does keep up, even we know that it gets frozen like last time I had to put those controllers on it. Okay. Let's wait for the pump. Drain pan. Two screws here looks like. Over there one, here one, and then front and hopefully it's gonna drop. Okay, let's go downstairs. The hell is that? This coil is filthy as well. This might be the next thing that we will need to do is to replace this coil. Yeah, some of the U bands are dropping. Let's get this thing loose. Get the cover off. Okay, all screws are out. Okay. Need to pull completely off. Shouldn't be big deal.
basketball card trim away. Ah, crap. I don't care. I guess I don't need to lose. Pen first, and then that's gonna come off. This is condition of our pen. This little bracket there that holds our sensors. Okay, that's out. And let's cut this sensor because we don't use it anymore. all over I need this bracket okay it over there from the top because the pen has a lot of crap in it so it's gonna be in the drain line okay it's all attached uh, now we're gonna close it down and they clear the drain line with the nitro. So let's put this back and uh, we'll be done. Not even an hour. Now, 
always still need to secure the pan. I mean the sensor. The sensor here. Okay. It's gonna look like that, okay? Let's do that very quick. Actually, since it's this copper situations going on here. I didn't want it to touch any metal. Okay, so we're gonna just hang it, it's gonna hang there. Just like that. And do it done. We have to reconnect it to the pump. Okay. Had the cooler off. We have a mechanical timer, so we need to adjust timer to a proper time right now. It's about to go to the frost actually. Let's see what time. Okay, next, what's gonna go bad, I think, coil. This is the history of it. They just got this restaurant. It's a new restaurant for them. And uh, that's what came with it, the older stuff. And now I need to figure out of crap on it. It's keeping pans, so... But yeah, we had lots of issues with it. They wasted. I will clean our... Oh, it's actually clean. Take it and clean inside. Clean that crap inside. That's from the old pan. The old pan. Pretty sure I'm gonna see it soon. I have another call here. Make sure it's something. So this one shouldn't leak anymore. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we have multiple leaks. Everything went bad on it. All the pan and everything got corroded. Freezer. Door doesn't close. <laughs> Need to lower 
it down. Let's try to drop the door down. How can we do it? I don't know if it will. See guys, that's what's happening. Boom. An ideal situation. I'd like to get that that one of the washers out, right? Tighten the spring up. Get this one out. Get it in that other spot. Let's try to do that. Okay, so we just tied that knot in different spots. So the spring is very tight now. Let's. Spring's not going to leak. I'm sure that. Again, by lowering an upper hinge. Okay. We got a gap. It's got to 31 degree right now. Bam, 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 bam. To lower, to warm up a I'll leave it there because we had the frost cycles. Even though it's got to 31.5. Uh, but we have the frost, so I'd like to keep it as close to 32 as possible. Right. Maybe I'm thinking maybe I need to get some water in a pan just to make sure it drains proper. See if it's gonna drain. Got a little bit of water in there. Yeah, we're filling up right there. Thank you. 